Hi, I'm Kirby Allison, and I'm thrilled to be here in Havana, Cuba for the very first time visiting this beautiful city with several of my good friends and fellow cigar enthusiasts from London. We've come for the 23rd Festival del Havano, the most important event in the world for Cuban cigars, and of course, to explore the many examples of quality, craftsmanship, and tradition that are to be found within Cuban culture and amongst the people of this beautiful island. So join me as we travel to Havana, Cuba to explore the world of quality, craftsmanship, and tradition of this beautiful island and their incredible cigars. I'm Kirby Allison, and I'm here in Havana, Cuba, outside the incredible facade of one of the most iconic hotels of this entire island, the Hotel Nacional. This world-famous hotel opened in 1930 and was designed by renowned New York architectural firm McKim, Mead, and White, and it incorporates several distinct and important architectural styles, including Art Deco, Civilian, Moorish, and Roman architecture. It is magnificently situated on top of Tahana Hill, overlooking the famous Malikan Boulevard, and has been declared both a World Heritage Site and official monument of Cuba. But that is only a small part of the hotel's amazing story. It has played host over time to countless world leaders and celebrities, and has played a significant role in many of the important events of this country's history. So join me as we step inside for a tour of the Hotel Nacional to explore the world of quality, craftsmanship, and tradition. Annabelle, thank you Hi. so much for My inviting pleasure. me to the hotel. I can't tell you how excited I am here to see the Hotel Nacional. I mean, this is a More true icon <laughs> of Havana. More than welcome. It's my pleasure to show you yeah. the Hotel Nacional. Yeah, I mean, beautiful place. I know it is a, one of the favorite destinations amongst the cigar connoisseurs that travel so often to Havana. Uh, but of course, I mean, this hotel has an incredible history and story behind it. So I was hoping today you might be able to share that with me. Yes, you might of course. learn a few secrets of the Hotel Nacional. Yes, we have many secrets here inside these walls in the hotel. Mm -hmm. First of all, this hotel um, was inaugurated on December 30 in 1930. Mm -hmm. Okay, that was built in 14 months with really? seven million dollars. No kidding. Yes. That's fast. Yes, by an American company. Mm -hmm. The name was Purdy and Anderson. Okay. It was a very famous uh, company. Mm -hmm. And well, um, this hotel was built with many influences from other countries, like Spain, for example. Mm -hmm. uh, you can see here in the lobby in the tiles, yeah. that is one example. Here in the floor, you can see that's, that is three uh, figures that mm -hmm. it, it's repeat. This one, this one, and this one represent the city from Spain. Really? Okay. You have here Catalonia, Castilla, and Granada. Ah. Yeah, this is very um, fantastic of that. The ceiling is no, it's no wood. It's an imitation. Okay. It's plaster painting like, like wood. Oh, really? Uh, oh. You have here the, the original reception when the hotel was inaugurated. Mm -hmm. It's a precious wood. The name is Caoba. 
or red wood. Also from Spain? Yes, from Spain. Mm -hmm. Yes. And uh, you have the most of furniture here in the hotel is from those times. Oh, really? Yes. Okay. This hotel has uh, 92 years. It's very old, but it's very fascinating. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's a stunning lobby uh, and, uh, I mean, an absolutely beautiful hotel. Yes, it's like uh, come back to the 30, 40, yeah. 50. I mean, it's one of my favorite parts of being here in Havana is really, you know, feeling as though you're transported back in time to a bygone era uh, where you still have this old world elegance. I mean, not just, uh, you know, in the city and with all the buildings, but of course, you know, the interiors and even the pace of life. Yes. Checking about back in time, you want to see the elevators here? Yeah, please. These are the original. Yeah. Really, yes. original, huh? So back in the 1930s, whenever this hotel opened, I mean, what was the atmosphere like here in Havana, in the Hotel Nacional at that time, which was, you know, the preeminent hotel of the entire city? I mean, what was that era like? Well, it was a lot of um, noisy, um, beautiful, and a lot of casinos mm -hmm. here in many hotels, like Capri Sevilla here yeah. in the National Hotel was a, a big casino. And many people from, from USA mm -hmm. um, come here and back to the yeah. USA in a minute, it's just, just yeah. like a 45 it's an hour minute. Flight, yeah. Yes, very um, like a cosmopolitan mm -hmm. city. I mean, Havana back in that, in that day was, I mean, a true cosmopolitan world city. And socially, I mean, this was an incredibly active city with vibrancy, with excitement. You know, the movie stars were coming. I mean, it was Havana. Many people, everyone wants, wants to be, to visit Havana yeah. in those times. Here in the hotel, that's the purpose. Um, get back for the, the, those times mm -hmm. and explain people, visitors, guests, yeah. how, how it feel mm -hmm. to be in uh, those years. Yeah, here. I mean, you can just, you can feel the history here. The history uh, in here. The well, here, talking about back in time, you have the, the same elevators when the hotel was inaugurated. Mm -hmm. Actually works. This hotel has eight floors. Okay. Yeah, and this that we normally use. Okay, and you have here the, the mailbox. It's the original when really? the hotel was built. Huh. Actually works too. Yeah. You can put on the letter or postal card there in your yeah, floor. And it'll just or, drop down into the box. Yes, yeah, well here, and yeah. once a time the mailman come here, take off and send you. Yeah. And so do these elevators, I mean, do they have, you know, elevator operators or have they been updated to, you know, be able to punch in? The no, no, punch the, the button and you, go. you can try. Can you try yeah. with me? Yeah, let's go. Okay, come in. So where to next? Okay, second floor. Okay. So what's in store for us on the second floor? Do you like mafia, mafia things? Yeah, well. Mm. Very interesting history here. Really? Yes. Well, I guess if they, you know, any, anywhere there was a casino, there was always a little bit of mafia. Yes, of course, <laughs> I think so. <laughs> and so back in that, in that time, you know, uh, was Las Vegas around also? Yes. Well, the book says mm -hmm. that uh, the project of Las Vegas is mm -hmm. going to be here in Cuba, first of all. Oh, really? Okay. Yes. So this was meant to be the original Las Vegas. Yes, the original Las Vegas. Okay. Well, Many history here. Yeah, that's interesting. Now, I want to show you the Mafia's room here. Okay. Very important here. The Mafia room? The Mafia room. Okay. Have you seen the movie The Godfather? Yeah, of course. Yeah, the second part, mm -hmm. there is a scene in a balcony, okay. big balcony, with a lot of mafia men, mm -hmm. uh, businessmen. Yeah, okay? businessmen, that's business right, men. yes, yes. Okay, and there they had a cake, a cake has a map of Cuba, mm -hmm. and they are checking the, the cake for them. <laughs> well, that was a representation that happened here in Cuba in 1946, kind of. Um, the movie was filmed in Dominican, but the fact happened here in Cuba, here in this hotel. In this hotel? In this room. Really? Yes. Uh, any cakes waiting for us? <laughs> so famous room 211. Yes. Do a lot of people request this room specifically? Yes, many people every day wants to be in the Mafia's room. Ah, and yes. this is the Mafia room. Yes, has the same furniture, um, a lot of memory. The telephone work 
Oh, really? Yes. Well, this is the classic. You want to try? Oh, let's see. You know, can I uh, order a hit? I need my Tommy gun. <laughs> <laughs> and you have here the famous balcony. Mm. Wow. Thank you. Wow. Oh, what a view. Yes, uh, fantastic. So yeah. why this room? I mean, of all the rooms in the hotel, I mean, of course, it's a beautiful balcony and incredible view, uh, but why, why this one? Well, the Sir Charles Luke Luciano, that was uh, the most important mafia's leader in those times, mm -hmm. um, chose this room because this hotel has a floor, but this, room this has is eight the, in the second floor mm -hmm. is the only one that has a balcony uh -huh. around the hotel. Okay, but. This room is the only one that has access to the balcony. Oh. If you can see, the other rooms just has windows. Mm. And this is the only one that has a big door. In those times, the hotel was closed for 200 people. Okay. Everyone, family and friends mm -hmm. from Mafia's leader. Yeah. And here was about 10, the most important 10 Mafia's leader. Outside In the here. middle. Yes. Cherry in the cake. Yep. Cherry in Cuba. For Cer them. Certainly uh, smoking cigars, I would imagine drinking some mojitos or some rum. Of course. And dividing the country for themselves. Of course. Ah, wow. And a so good that, Havana and a good rum, mm -hmm. it's gonna be very fantastic yeah. for them. Yeah. <laughs> the next time I'm here in Havana, I, I think I need to look up room 211. Um, I think. Yeah, so this is, I mean, just one aspect of this hotel's kind of incredible story history. Yes. Uh, really interwoven, at least in its early history, with America and with the Mafia. Many people want to, to rent this room because it has a lot of history yeah. inside, yes. Well, <laughs> an absolutely beautiful kind of yes. wraparound balcony. Wow, where well, you can you know, really appreciate from this balcony just how beautiful the hotel is. Yes. Um, can you talk to me a little bit about this, uh, this part at the top? I mean, that's gorgeous. Yes, very gorgeous. Before, we had a, a, a bar there and now it's going to be a new bar, uh, Casablanca, um, okay. Capablanca's bar. Capablanca's bar. Yes. And what's the history with that? I mean, was it well since the opening of the hotel when it originally opened? Was there a bar up there or was that something recent? Yes. This, um, if, you, if you can notice, in the, the figures, mm -hmm. is like in the, in the top are uh, chess pieces. Okay. Okay. In honor uh, of Capablanca, mm -hmm. one of the best. Uh, play uh, chess. Really? In a world, yes. Oh. And so that's going to be a, a bar up there. That's really exciting. Yes. When do you uh, anticipate that opening? Well, maybe in two months, I really? think. Oh, I you need to it. come back. I just missed it. I expect my invitation <laughs> in the mail. Yeah, okay. Uh, room 211 and an invitation to the Capa Blanca uh, opening. This would be yeah. perfect. Wow. It's a massive, <laughs> massive structure. Beautiful balcony. Look at this incredible view. Yes. Yeah. Where, where to next? Hall of Fame. Okay, let's go. Wow, what a stunning room. Yes, beautiful. Has the same decoration when the hotel was built. Well, uh, like I say, um, that was the, the casino okay. here in the hotel. Uh, nowadays, it's not a casino. It's a place for weddings, meetings, mm -hmm. dancing parties yeah. here in the hotel. And here in Cuba, nowadays, we don't have casinos and gamblings in general. Mm -hmm. It's mm -hmm. really legal. Okay. But we have the, the memories of yeah. this casino. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, and so when did the casino close down? In 1959. Okay. When the revolution. So after the revolution yeah, is after whenever the, the casino was closed. The hotel always belongs to the government. Yeah. Yes, mm -hmm. here in Cuba. Yeah. Um, and the transition was um, easy because when Batista, that was yeah. the president uh, here in Cuba, mm -hmm. left the, the power, yeah. um, came in an older president. Mm -hmm. uh, the, 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 the middle name was Cespedes, and then was Fidel, Fidel okay. Castro. Okay. And Fidel Castro uh, has a, a lot of um, measures mm -hmm. for the prostitution, mm -hmm. uh, gamblings, yeah. uh, uh, change, everything. Yeah. 
here yeah. in the hotel and here in, in Cuba. Yeah, absolutely. Gorgeous. I mean, again, I can't imagine, you know, yeah. what it must have been like kind of in the 1930s and 40s. No, I can't you know, imagine during, either. You know, that, that, you know, that era of abundance and of, you know, kind of, I mean, not quite world travel yet, but it yeah. certainly was very glamorous. Yeah. Well, now we can see the Hall of Fame is the place where the most important uh, personalities in the world uh, stay, uh, have a picture here okay. in the hotel, like a memory of the, their visit here yeah. in the hotel. Oh, excellent. And, they ha and we have some memories too, like a roulette yeah. that we, we use it here in the mm -hmm. casino. Okay. okay. Here you, you have the Gallery of History and a Bar Vistel Golf. Thank you. Here you got, in the world, the most important personality in 30, 40, 50, 60, 17, wow. and 89. Wow. You have a lot of people here. Almost you an have, entire century, right? Yes. You have the most important mafia's leader. You have here at Sinners, uh, Cantin Plus, Maria Felix in, from Mexico. You have uh, here Spencer Tracy, Rocky Marciano, a lot of people of different times. Here you got the sculpture of Judy Gagarin, the astronaut. And you have here this special market. Uh, this part was the um, this part of Havana before the hotel construction. Oh, really? Yeah. This part of Havana, the name is Vedado. That was the, just a hill in front of the sea. Wow. Yes. So it really is built quite significantly up. Yes. And they had um, a fortress like a Santa Clara's battery. Mm -hmm. That's a, a lot of cannons in front of the sea to avoid pirates or yeah. something yeah, like that. Of course. And then in 19, uh, 1928, they decided to put on this magnificent uh, hotel here. So that's the impressive in 1930. Um, in 14 months, actually, from pass from here to to this part. That's amazing. Yes. Wow. Well, what an incredible hotel. There's one last thing we haven't seen yet, and that's the courtyard. <laughs> I was hoping you might be able to take me there, and maybe I could enjoy a nice a nice rum and maybe a cigar. Of course. <laughs> okay. The terrace of the Hotel Nacional is a favorite among cigar connoisseurs. With the beautiful view of the water, comfortable couches, and live music in the evenings, this is amongst the best and most historic places one can come to enjoy a fine Havana cigar while in Havana.